In this video, I'm going to show you how you can tap into your true gifts and talents. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can tap into your true gifts and um, talents. And, uh, you know, to start off, I want, just want to say that all of us have, um, we all have gifts and we all have talents that we can use um, for our purpose. You know what I mean? We all have special gifts and um, abilities that we have that we can make profitable and that we can, you know, <clears throat> spend a lifetime doing. You know, we, we all are... I like to say that we're all angels and we all come from the same, you know, we're all cut from the same cloth, even though we're all different. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think it's important to just understand that everybody has special gifts and abilities, you know, and um, as well as understanding that, you know, when we start to compare other people's gifts and talents, and that's kind of when we're putting others on the pedestal. You know, this is something that I can be guilty of sometimes, right? Comparing other people, you know, what other people have, right? And um, this can lead you into insecurity. It can lead you into self-doubt, into lack of motivation. You know what I mean? And so realize that, you know, you were put on this earth for a different reason than someone who you're compared to. And this can kind of help you start to say realize how special that you are you know um and we also have to realize that there's there are some things that um we can do that the people who are we who we're comparing ourselves to actually can't you know what i mean and so and so we're all special and we all have certain talents that we can utilize um and the thing is tapping into those um talents you know um and i want to start by um number one you know um i'm just going to give a couple of ways into how you can actually do this um to start is meditation you know meditation has been a huge thing for me and it has been something that has really helped me kind of tune into um what, what it is I want to do and what my purpose is. And so, you know, if you don't know how to meditate, you can look up, you can look it up online. There's a lot of guided meditations that you can use. Um, but it's essentially just becoming still and just being observant of your thoughts and kind of letting them pass. A lot of times during meditation, it can be tempting to kind of be like, man, I need to get this thought out of my head or I can, I need to just let, just, um, remove this thought. But in reality, you know, the key to meditation is actually allowing those thoughts to kind of pass through because the more and more we do this during meditation, the more and more it'll be easier for us to have a clear mind. And when we have a clear mind, then that's when we're ultimately granted with a lot of the answers that we have. You know, and um, this is a good way that you can connect with the source as well, or God, or your higher self, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, um, you know, you can also connect with source and um, they can give you answers as to whatever it is you want to ask. You know, um, you, all you have to do is just ask permission. And during meditation, you can actually get granted these answers. A lot of the times it's the reason why um, I'm able to post videos every single day. You know what I mean? Um, every day during meditation, I just get in a, a new idea every time. And so that's the, that's the first way that you can go about it. You know, there's also the second way that you can go about it is, you know, sitting in nature, um, being in nature. Um, you know, a lot of us have lost connection, our connection to Gaia, which is, you know, Mother Gaia, the Earth. And, you know, 
the earth is an actual, it's actually a beautiful place to be, to get grounded. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the first thing in, um, in terms of being still, you know, practicing stillness, but, um, you know, just sitting in nature, um, and even if it's not sitting in nature, just take, um, mindful walks, you know what I mean? Just take walks where you're not really thinking a lot, you know, and, um, just take walks where you are just present, you know what I mean? Meaning that you, you are just observing everything around you and you're not really judging anything or you're not, um, thinking about something else. Um, and this can be kind of difficult to do as well, which is why it kind of takes practice. You know, you're going to have to go out, um, multiple times to be able to, you know, be, um, actually be present, but, um, you know, it's another great way that you can receive your answers as to how you can obtain your true abilities and your true talents, you know, um, um, And, and so, you know, I feel like nature just grants a lot of answers as well. You know, um, there have been times where I have received, you know, downloads as to certain ideas that I've had for videos when I was out in nature. And, you know, it's just such a beautiful place. You know, there's, everything is alive and, and it's just a beautiful place to be really. And so that's going to be number two, um, the third thing, which is actually going to be my last thing, this is one of the most important ones of the, of the video. <clears throat> and that is going to be doing what you love. You know, find something that you enjoy doing. Whether that's drawing, whether that's music, whether that's art. You know, whether that's um, broadcasting, telecasting, podcasting, right? Whatever it is find something that you really enjoy doing and just do it. You know what I mean? The more and more we um, do things that we love, we're actually following our heart. And, um, and because we're following our heart, the universe is going to give us a lot of answers that we didn't really know um, were there, you know, um, that were kind of hidden from us. And, you know, this has been, you know, through doing my purpose, which is YouTube, um, my passion, I have actually found that it's granted me a lot of answers about my life and just about myself, really. You know, um, it's it's made me more learn about who I am as a person. And so this can be another huge way to help you actually tap into your talents and find what it is you really want to do. Um, and, you know, like Ralph Smart says, um, the more you follow your heart or, um, the the universe reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their hearts. You know what I mean? So, and, you know, I found that it's to be true. You know what I mean? Um, the more and more I, like I said, I've followed my heart and I'm just done what I love because when you're doing what you, what you love, you're really, you are following your heart because you're doing what's true to you. And so, um, you know, with those three things out of the way, um, you should be able to find out what your talents are. And you, that's how you can tap into your talents. You know, first meditation, second, um, being in nature, stillness for both of these, and then doing what you love, finding something that it is that you do, that you like, that you really enjoy doing, um, that you love. And so, yeah. With that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, it's going to be right here. My tw um, Instagram is at Noah Isark. My Twitter is going to be at Noah Seark. And my TikTok is going to be at Noah Seark as well. Um, yeah, right there. Um, but with that being said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful um, Christmas Eve. Today is Christmas Eve. And uh, peace, love, and happiness, my beautiful souls. Mwah.